Do you find it challenging to hit the conception rates that you're wanting to see? And maybe you're here because you're looking for ideas to help get those extra few percentage points. I know that it can be very frustrating when you don't hit the percent in conception rates that you're looking for. Whether it's 3% or 10% increase, it almost feels like your herd has maybe plateaued and you're just stuck there. But there's actually quite a few things that we can look into to help boost your conception rates and get those extra few percent. Imagine having 3% more bread. That's 3% more calves at the time of sale and that's that many less cows that are open that you have to deal with. By the end of this video, you will have six different areas that you can look at to help increase your conception rates and your herd performance and ultimately your bottom line. Hey, it's Ashley Kettner with RioMax. I have been working with cattle producers across North America for quite a while now, and I am part of our family's sixth generation ranch. So let's dive right in. Six areas that can help increase your conception rates are going to consist of pre-calving and calving nutrition, pre-breeding and breeding nutrition, tightening up your calving intervals, looking at calving difficulty, and paying attention to season and environmental effects. Last, but absolutely not least, looking at bull testing and bull to cow ratio. These are all very, very important topics to be pinpointing into to help set yourself and your ranch up for the best success this breeding season. Okay, pre-calving and calving nutrition. It's so important that we have the cattle on an incline or an increase with their plane of nutrition, rather than having them just roly-poly through calving season. Because what we found is when that happens and we expect them to be at a certain body condition score pre-calving, it can actually essentially shut down their reproductive system. So what's better is to have their body condition score at a moderate level through calving, and then once calving is over, increase the quality of their feed and start getting that increase in their body condition score, because that's gonna help to really kickstart their reproductive system, and ideally get them stronger heats so that they're breeding within those first 21 days. Now, part of this is also having a very high quality supplement program. Something that's gonna have very highly available trace minerals, key trace minerals to make sure that those are getting through the rumen and to the bloodstream so that they can do what they're supposed to do, along with having the ultimate digestion pack. Something with many, many components to really help activate and get those good bugs going. Now, this is so, so important because this is going to help the cows get any kind of inflammation handled or just get everything up to par pre-breeding. Um, when this is happening after calving, it's gonna help that cow recover from calving faster, which is gonna get her to be able to breed faster and then help to um, tighten up your calving window as well. Pre-breeding and breeding nutrition. So it is so important to continue offering a high quality supplement from calving to pre-breeding all the way through breeding because this is going to help allow and make sure that your cow's nutrition plane is met, her requirements are met, and she is ready to accept the semen when the bull comes around to do his job. Because remember, if she's got any inflammations or anything going on at all internally that we can't see, Mother Nature tells her, you've got to put your reproductive system or your ability to breed on the back burner until you fix yourself. So we need to make sure that we are working with those animals and staying ahead of the game, so to speak, to help make sure that she is ready to go when her time comes. Tightening up your calving interval. So if you've got a long calving season in practice at your ranch, that can run into some difficulties when it comes to trying to increase your conception rates because the matter of fact is if it's a long calving season, the odds are there might be cows that haven't even calved yet when it's time to breed again, or definitely not a chance to go into heat before breeding starts. And if that's the case, that can absolutely be detrimental to getting the cows bred and bred timely, and it may just stretch out your calving season even longer, or, you lose out on the opportunity of getting more cows bred, which has a hard impact when it comes to your bottom line. 
calving difficulties. Now, if you have cows that have difficult time during calving, we're not just risking the chance of losing that calf, we're interfering with how that cow is gonna to perform too. If she has difficulties during calving, this is gonna prolong her time to recover, which means we're reducing the chance of her getting bred in the first cycle and reducing our overall conception rates as well. Now, although genetics are very important and play a big role in, in calving difficulties, so does nutrition. Nutrition is very critical during this time to help um, make calving easier and help that cow recover from calving way sooner to get into those heat cycles way sooner. Season and environmental effects. So according to Iowa Beef Center, some of the effects, the uh, um, environmental effects on conception rates aren't actually directly relating to fertilization rates, but more so relating to embryonic mortality. So no matter where you're at, if you're experiencing extreme weather, whether it's hot or cold, that can have a negative impact on both the cows and the bulls. Okay, lastly, let's talk about bull testing and bull to cow ratio. So it, this is very important because I think so many of us ranchers put way too much trust in our bulls than maybe we should. I think um, sometimes we've got a herd of bulls that are just outperformers last year and we really expect that of them this year, right? But so much can change in a year. So I absolutely encourage you to make sure that you're still testing your bulls so you know if something did happen over the last year and you're prepared before breeding season. Another thing is that our bulls, we still have to have the same mindset with the bulls as we do with the cows as far as their inclining nutrition pre-breeding because if they have an, um, any inflammations or anything going on internally, we need to help make sure that we conquer that, help them overcome it, and we help to make sure that we're getting their requirements met. So when we're talking about their nutrition though, offering a high quality supplement pre-breeding is very, very important. Often I hear ranchers talking about putting their supplement out only two to three weeks pre-breeding, but bull semen quality is actually determined 60 days before he actually uses the semen. So in that case, we need to be actually looking at least, at the very least, 90 days pre-breeding to make sure that we're offering that high quality supplement to help him get on the up and up, get his requirements met so that he is ready to go and to do his job and to do his job well. Now, the other thing to keep in mind with the bulls is the bull to cow ratio. Every genetic's a little bit different, um, but it's super important to make sure that we're not asking them to do way more than what they're actually capable of. If we are paying attention and being mindful of what our breed's bull to cow ratio should be and staying within those parameters, we'll have a much better success at increasing those conception rates. I hope you guys have a good understanding of these areas of impactors when it comes to increasing your conception rates and tightening up your breeding window. If you're interested in learning more about a high quality supplement that can help you achieve these goals and in increasing your conception rates, then I encourage you to click the link in the description that will take you right to the RioMax science page so that you can learn more about the RioMax technology. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, please pick up the phone and give us a call because we'd be happy to help in any way that we can. I wanna say thank you for watching you guys and if you found value to this video, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. It would mean the world to us and that way you can stay up to date with the content that we're posting on this channel. You guys have a great day.